What's happening, y'all? Here in the Axe Shack, getting ready for Mr. Mike tomorrow. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to Copano. Still got the flood tide happening? I don't think so. How about Aransas Pass? One thing about Aransas Pass, super clear, gin clear. And when I fish Aransas Pass, one of my favorite things to throw is a jerk bait, the blade minnow. All the blade minnows I can get, and maybe some more of these caffeine chad. I think we can make this happen tomorrow. Welcome to the Yak Shack bright and early. We are meeting here this morning. I've got a Jackson Kusa that's got to go in the back of my truck. I stayed in a hotel last night, didn't want to leave in the hotel. No problem, let's go in here. Let's load her up and get on the water. We got dead still and fog this morning. See y'all later. I don't know, but he's coming in hot. Let's <laughs> see if I turn his head. He's coming in at you. Oh. Big old skipjack. Oh man, they call that a poor man's tarpon. Yeah. Alright, so high rod tip and just keep working it fast. <laughs> A little, little faster pace. You got to keep it out of that grass. You can see how close we are to the truck. We ain't gone nowhere. We're still we're on top of fish already. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you got one there? Yeah, I got a little lighter one. There you go. Twitch, twitch, reel. Twitch, twitch, reel. There you go. Got a disturbance in the force over here, people. Seeing a big school of mullet. Oh, I just got whacked. I don't know if y'all saw that. Now that's what I'm talking about. First top water, saltwater fish right here, baby. There we go. First top water redfish? Yes, ever. All right. Come on. He looks like he's gonna pull me. Yeah, let me drop anchor. Oh, Lord. That's a good fish right there. Oh. Right there, sir. It might be. Find other places. Pretty trout. Yep. Worm hook. I'll show you. They can't stand the caffeine shad, baby. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. First cast. First cast with the caffeine shad. Who is that? They're just gonna have to ring. Just gonna have to ring. GoPro, stop. GoPro, stop. I don't know if y'all saw me at Lake Athens with Teresa's uh, women's tournament, but both Teresa and I were throwing four inch caffeine shad on these gin clear flats of Aransas Pass. That same bass lure right there with a worm hook, absolutely deadly on reds and trout and big ones. The big ones like it. Four inch is perfect size. Comes across as a mullet. There we go. that first cast once again there we go that's a keeper you want me to show you how I'm doing that got a redfish right here in front of me oh I spooked him I spooked him dang it I'm standing on the frame of my old town seat here shows you how stable this boat is I'm standing on the seat Got so much more visibility, dude. I just broke off on a blade minnow. I mean, broke off, reared back, and snap. Dang it. That one was a blind, but look how gin clear, dude. Gin clear. KVD blade minnow. When this super clear water, man, this is just coming across like a little bait fish or a shrimp with this real natural. Um, grayish color could be a finger mullet to them could be a shrimp even skin hooking it on the side because we got a lot of floating grass and I'm just jerking it as erratically as possible 
like that, and they're just, I just broke off, dude. Big fish. There we go. Blade Metal wins again. A little redfish killed that blade minnow boy. Just a little redfish. It's like the fifth hit I've got on that thing without connecting. Finally connected. Nice red. Tore it up. Hit it on the surface like a top water plug. Look, they just annihilated. It's gone already. There you go, he's gone. Big trout, or there's a red in this pot. There's two reds in this pot right here. Just blew them out. Just blew them out. You see the dust? Tiny pothole. Two of them. That was a good right fish. Door, no, you still got him? I got him. Good job. That's a good one. Going on a little sleigh ride there. You got to be able to run. They got some power. He's not, he's not as big as I thought he was. Yeah, he might be a keeper. Yeah, it looks like a keeper. Blade minnow. There you go. Good job. Yeah, oh, he was hooked good. Yeah, he just outdid me. Gin clear water. KVD blade minnow, one and a half? Yep. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Let's get some pictures of that guy. That was nice. Yeah, good job. That was good. Um, I was working it fast and uh, uh, ripping it through the water when that thing hit. I had to go pretty quickly, so mm -hmm. uh, no, no finessing with it. It was just you know, let it get out there and then start. I started ripping it, and that was what happened. There you go. Let's nice. do it again. <laughs> yeah, give it another one. Why don't you tell everybody your, your name and where you're from? My name is Mike Werner and I'm from McDade, Texas. Came down here to learn how to kayak and salt fish. It's, a, it's different than bass fishing. Bass, bass fishing for a lot of it, or for me, uh, oftentimes is uh, bottom bouncing. You know, uh, here, you got to keep it above the weed line. Once I saw what they were doing with that uh, KDB or KVD uh, bait, that uh, that one started hitting. But at first, I was not uh, fishing it right. So I had to adjust how I was fishing it. So I, essentially, what I did was watch what you were doing. You got another one. Good for him. You going for a sleigh ride. He lives in Giddings, Texas. He never gets to do this. He's just tickled to death, man. I'm happy for him. There you go. That's a nice one. 21 and a quarter, 21 and a half. Nice. Yeah. You'll do. Lift him up and show everybody there. Look at there. <laughs> That's a dandy. How we, how'd you catch that one? Same thing. Pass bait. It. Perfect. Got a couple of trout, a couple of redfish. That'll be some meals. All right, let's keep going, man. This is pretty cool. Okay. Any <laughs> chance you can send me those pictures and stuff? Oh, yeah, no That'd doubt.
So if they're feeding on a combination of shrimp that big, and they're feeding on finger mullet that big, well, that little bait right there is somewhere in the middle, isn't it? They think they either kicked up a big shrimp or a, or a finger mullet. That they were at the surface. They were hitting these things much closer to the surface than I thought. I was trying to get them a little, you know, to sink further down and pop them like, a, like I might do off a bouncing off a, for a bass. I watched what you were getting hits on, ripping your, your rod and, then, uh, and reeling at the same time. And when I started doing that, that's when I caught the two redfish. It's hot down here, man. 